Uh, do I want to get some more tribal faithful, I wonder, just to, you know, hold the line? I think I do. These can always be upgraded to other stuff later. Oh, hold on. Let's cancel you. And you. Want to make sure that we keep enough infantry equipment in the bank so that I can actually send out scavengers. Right, now I can add two more. Cowboy Country declared war. We've got dynamite! Let's get saws. We'll start adding fire support to all of our units. Grant the followers bases. Done. Frontline medics. Reduces attrition, in reduces recovery, uh, reduces war support. They are pretty good. And we still can't do any of the uh, white leg stuff, so sure. The followers are willing to serve as medics for our troops in the light of our support. Great. And now we have interactions with the followers. Now that they are established in our nation, we can interact with the followers without fear that they might leave us. They're willing to provide us with goods and services for the benefit of our people. But this will increase their influence within our nation, which may open us up to demands. So we can request their aid, which gives support equipment. We can petition them for technology. We can ask the followers to help settlements, which gives more civilian workshops, which I think is a good idea. Or we can hire follower agriculture experts, which is also really good. Water supplies and building slots. I think I want to do these two for sure. Is New Canaan Salt Lake City? No, it's Ogden. New Jerusalem is Salt Lake City. So we do now have the followers' influence. It does increase our population, reduces political power gain, increases stability, reduces war support, increases research significantly. We should have very quick research, seeing as we've got a, currently a plus 16 bonus. Which is pretty nice. It's pretty good. Here we go, we can ask them to help the settlements, which gives me the workshop. Do it. Frontline medics have been trained, so we're going all out to assist them. Alright, let's explore the armory, seeing as that's the only thing we have left to do. We have had little need to explore the pre-war armory in Ogden, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's find the guns of our forefathers. Oh, that's a point. We're not going to have the uh, source of M1 Garand guns anymore, are we? So we really are just going to be using pipe pistols. Ah, no, gliders. Don't want to build gliders. Waste of time. Dynamite! We do want to build though. So we'll reduce the amount of that we are producing. And we'll start doing some dynamite instead. And how are we doing for resources? We should be fine. Oh yeah, easily. Easy peasy. Troll Warren took five states. Rib breakers were our next. Oh, they did kill the uh, casual corpse eaters or walkers or whatever they were called. Train mongrels, done. Alright, next up let's get anti-tank rifles. And let's start training some mongrels instead of support equipment. Achievement unlocked. Rebuilding the wasteland. Oh, 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 oh. What's that do? What's that do? As any nation owned a state with maximum infrastructure. Difficulty of this achievement is easy. Has any nation make a purchase with caps? I missed that one earlier. So we've got the art of haggling and rebuilding the wasteland. Just going to see if anything else is unlocked. I don't think so. No. Hello.
Chichen Itza took four states. Tiara have been annexed. Scavengers triumph. We gained Edward McCulloch. Political power gain plus five. Subversive activities minus ten. Improved relations minus ten. Guarantee minus ten. Economy laws change minus five. Trade laws minus five. And conscription laws minus five. It's only for 180 days. Although we are making... We should have enough to change one law. We can't change levies. We're already open to traders. We're already using bottle caps. Those aren't affected. Can't change those. Can't change those. Can't change those. Yeah. Not very useful at this juncture. We're still very much locked in our economy. We are up to 10 civilian factories now, though. Which is good. Triplane attacker. Attacker. Finish. Let's get the biplane fighter as well. And... I do want to try and make some of them. We really need some more military factories now. But we should have a pretty good spread of equipment that we need. Caesar's Legion took 14 states. The Hangdogs have been annexed. Ah, and now we can hire the agriculture experts as well. Do it. I want to see if these two are repeatable. I'm not sure that they are. Makeshift squad automatic weapons. Vault City to four states. Cyclops tribes are annexed. That's all ahead of time. Ah, we can get research from the resistor. Should have done that a year ago. Never mind. New California Republic declared war upon the Scorpions. The NTR is going to get the long 15. Exploring Ogden Armory. Done. Still haven't done any. Arms for the officers? Or arms for the church. And we can't send any to the tribes yet. We last time went with arms to the officers and I think I'm still going to do that. The argument can be made that it would be that we should give the firearms to our officers instead of those loyal to the judge. Have I done the Lonesome Road DLC yet? No. I'm still very much based. Like, uh, I'm, I'm one of those players. So here's, here's, here's a thing that I have with RPGs. I hate big cities. I really get bored very, very quickly in big cities, so I have not actually even gone to New Vegas yet. Like, I've done everything else around it. I've even started going north of it to do a lot of that stuff. I just haven't gone to New Vegas because I just don't like the big cities. So I feel like I've missed out on a huge chunk of content because of that, but... Oh, it's just... It's not what I like doing. Uh, let's keep exploring with vehicles, I guess. So this does mean that we are completely out of caps now. New Vegas is a really good city, though. Yeah, but it's it's, it's any RPG. It's Baldur's Gate and Baldur's Gate. It's Am. God, I hated Am in Baldur's Gate 2. Probably part of the reason I much prefer 1 to 2. Um, that really big city in... Pillars of Eternity 2. Didn't like that. I just don't like the big cities. I much prefer just being out in the open, just exploring. I think that's why my favourite, like, it probably... My favourite RPG is still Baldur's Gate, but my favourite first-person RPG... There we go. My favourite first-person RPG that's not Baldur's Gate is Skyrim, because it's just big open spaces. You just explore them at your own whims. Like, smaller towns like Whiterun, I don't mind. I just don't like the big ones.
Pioneer Day. Today is Pioneer Day, a major Mormon festival celebrated yearly by the Mormons of Utah and beyond. Blessed be the ancestors. Give me more of that stability. Oh, yes. Uh, tribal faithful are all done. Haven't had a decent meal in weeks. Did I ever play Breath of the Wild? Nope, it's not on PC. But I believe they're doing it on PC, aren't they? There was something which was previous. No, it's um, Horizon New Dawn that's coming on PC, which I'm also very excited about. Breath of the Wild did almost get me to buy a. Um, what are they called? Console. Switch, that was it. Switch is the only console I've been even t remotely tempted to get for years. Like PS and Xbox just does not interest me. Uh, do we want to get salvaged motorcycles? I think we probably do. Like eventually we want to get to the scrap gun trucks, but we may as well start making the better equipment earlier. Max speed does go up, so we won't benefit from the max speed as much unless we make our regular infantry units into motorized, which is possible. Although, salvage motorcycles does cost energy to produce. We're going to be heavy users of energy. And we aren't Heaven's Gate. We don't have an unlimited source of the stuff. Yeah, eventually we'll be switching out the motorcycles for um, gun trucks. So we may well want to start researching to get down to this. Now, vehicles, I'm guessing, is all vehicles. So going along this line just to get the auxiliary techs might be a good idea. song again. Uh, let's see if there's any economic things first. There are economic things first. Construction. And plant cultivation. What's up? You guys are still training. You're ready for deployment. Good. Hello, sir. Alright, now... We have a decent amount of army experience, we're getting a lot of equipment, and actually we have all of the equipment that we need to actually start fleshing these guys out. So we're going to want demolitions, we're going to want fire teams. That's not a lot of organisation. Although I guess... That's acceptable. This is what I think our units are going to look like. And like I said, we'll eventually switch these out for mechanized. Oh, these units slow us down, making these guys completely pointless. Huh. Because special forces at least is fairly quick. get special forces fire teams and things? I don't think he can. We might actually have to use them here. And we can't get dog units, so let's see. Dogs are going to be one. Anti-tank are going to be one. Which means we'll only have one extra slot for either grenades or guns. Mm, that's a bit of a problem. Cowboy Country took three states. Now, how are the followers doing? That has not changed.
How close to us are the white legs now? Uh, no closer. And they haven't gone to war with the, uh, the tar walkers yet either. What's up? Arms for the officers, no longer get the effects of Nathan Harrison. That's fine. So how fast are mechanized? I guess that's another important question. These guys are six kilometers, which is the same speed as special forces. Yeah, see, this is why they work so well with special forces. Hmm. Are we afraid of the White Legs tribe? Yes, because a lot of, well, basically this entire branch over here is related to them. So I think they might matter. And they are locked by how much of a threat we see them. Perceived threat of the White Legs pose exceeds 10, currently 8. So something tells me there might be a source of beef between us at some point. Possibly. Maybe. Who knows. What are the 80s doing? They are doing the City of Banners. Just finish, finishing up all of this stuff. The Great Gas Station. That's a lot of energy. Interesting. Scavenger's Triumph! Henry Franklin, which grants attack and defense for 180 days. I'm going to stop scavenging because these are all time-limited bonuses. Uh, are they, though? Because we also got the um, strength security solutions. Oh, we don't have a focus. Whoops, my bad. I don't actually have a focus. <laughs> we have no focuses. Because the white legs are taking such a long time to actually do anything. I mean, we've got all of this still to do. There's a lot of other things for us to get through. And we do have enough political power we could change the thing. And in fact, we do need to get the APC manufacturer before too long. Although I think the Will Mother's garage might well be better, but that's motorized. Do I, do I care about them? Reliability and max speed. Neither of those are particularly useful to me. Cell usage plus 10%. That sounds like a bad thing. Max speed and soft attack. Those are all very good things. Yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing is making my regular divisions, these guys, into motorized. Unfortunately, it's going to be very expensive to do. Yeah, I mean, eventually we'll get tanks. The problem with tanks is they're not available until down here. They're, they're quite a long ways in. Resistor. Vacuum tubes are still slightly ahead of time. I would say that we should probably get smoke signals. Although we should also be getting these industrial upgrades, probably. Let's do smoke signals. I want to keep up with my uh, decryption so I can see what other people's focuses are. Are we civilized or advanced? We're civilized. Caesar's Legion declared on two sun. Five planes. Right. So one thing I've noticed is I don't really have any space for... So oh, I'm not even making them. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I need fighters. I don't have space to make either of these. With my current setup.
Isn't the Brotherhood of Steel the only advanced faction? No, they changed he Heaven's Gate, so they are as well now. And yes, Brotherhood of Steel are advanced. Vault City? Is Vault City advanced? Oh, um, I think Slocan is. How was it we could tell? There was a way. Remember how you do it, though. No, don't remember. NTR took thirteen states. Scorpions have been annexed. I find it amusing that. Mojave Brotherhood as Helios one. I thought it would be the NCR that gets it. I'm trying to think about what happened in Helios. The Brotherhood did take it. This is before the battle for Helios one. Yes, but the Brotherhood didn't take it, did they? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yeah, okay. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> Stretching back there, trying to think like, uh, I know I've done that. I really enjoyed Helios 1, actually. I thought it was a great area. Alright, more industry, I think. Continue down these paths. Elijah was trying to activate Archimedes, that's right. Who is ruling New Vegas? I would assume it's still Mr. House. Yep. We're still relatively early. I mean, still only 2276. And we started in 2275? Was Helios the solar, solar plant? Yes, it was. Hello. Now please show the new Reno focus tree. Uh huh. Salvatore Reborn. One unit of some old allies will join your army. Is Historic on? Does it matter for this? Because otherwise, I would assume yes, but I thought that only was a vanilla thing. What does my focus tree look like? It is pretty big and pretty glorious, except for the fact that the white legs are being really passive and unthreatening. Meaning I'm basically locked out of it at the moment. 
Although this does mean that we'll have loads of political power for reforms, for advisors, and more importantly, for generals. Plant cultivation done. This one, basic tools. There is no historic as far as I know. Yes, well, I was pretty sure. I'd imagine Stryker would try to keep close to the cannon. The thing is, I don't know if modders have the power to change that. Have I tried Enclave Reborn? No. Hey. You've leveled up. Marvellous. You guys are still in training. We could potentially get a couple more tribal faithful. I'd say why not. Let's get two more. Although we are now pretty short on guns. I really need to think about how I want to upgrade the disciple, the disciple units. Because my thinking was we'll use mechanized for the slight extra speed boost. But if I can't get these guys as special forces... They'll just slow everyone down to the mechanized. Well, I guess mechanized are only going to make us four kilometers faster. And the mechanized will still be really good for preventing manpower loss. Where are the white legs? The white legs are here. We're here. They're there. Five minutes past one in the morning here, I should really go get some sleep. See you, Shadowhawk. So, New Reno, is that Fallout 2? It's better that the NCR ain't New Helios anyway. Elijah might be smart, but he doesn't have a theoretical degree in physics. That's true, unlike Mr. Fantastic. Who, by the way, is a New Vegas person you can get in the government. He's one of the advisors. Right, we can do some more politicking. Politicking. Gifted translator, daily people support, consumer goods factories reduction, that's nice. Conflicted industrialist, production efficiency growth, efficiency cap, Mormon quartermaster, training time reduction, infantry, oh, infantry production cost, yeah, we probably want her. We almost certainly want Gideon, because it's actually taking us a long time to produce everything. Planning speed and max planning isn't that useful at, you, at the moment. Aircraft construction speed's not that useful, naval construction speed definitely isn't. Max entrenchment, especially such a small amount. Like, why is 0 0.3 max entrenchment even worth mentioning? I don't think it's a percentage. So we're going to go with Gideon McC McClellan. 